So you're ready to start painting. Now, I've already prepared my walls, and if you follow all those steps, you'll get some great results. I've also put on my high quality undercoat, so I'm ready to get cracking. Now come and I'll show you exactly what we need. You'll need some drop sheets to protect your floors. You'll also need some high quality painters tape to protect all your skirtings and your architraves. Now there's two parts to painting, cutting in and rolling. Now cutting in is just getting into all those areas, around door frames and architraves and into places where your roller can't get to. When cutting in, I recommend using a sash cutter with a long handle and a pencil grip, just so you can get a nice fluid straight motion. Now when using your brush, dip it a third into the paint and then wipe only one side, leaving the other one untouched. So try to make a nice, gentle stroke, just running it down. So try and keep the paint fairly wet before proceeding to the next step. And don't be tempted to do more than one wall at a time, otherwise the paint that you've cut in would have already dried. Okay, now it's time for rolling. Take your roller and dip it into the paint, just about a quarter. Bring it back. My roller looks full of paint now, and it's time to get it on the wall. Starting from the edge where you already cut in, use a W-shaped motion to apply paint across the entire wall, reloading your roller cover when you need to. Work into the sections you've already cut into as closely as you can to eliminate brush marks. Okay, now the next step is to lay off. And that basically means to go all over your work and smooth everything down. No need for extra paint and no need for the W motion. Start on the left corner and just very lightly roll the roller straight down the wall and repeat this all the way down, overlapping just to remove any lines made on the right side of the roller and repeat this process across the entire wall. So you'll need to repeat cutting in, rolling and laying off with each coat you do. Now most surfaces will take one undercoat and two final coats and always allow the paint to dry before applying another one. Now follow these steps and you'll have yourself a brand new room in no time. 